Welcome Aries. If you are new to my channel, know that I swear, I say it how it is and no sugar coating. Um, so we're going to do your October reading. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Not every Aries has the same life. Uh, we are going to do your person for those of you who are in a relationship, singles for my singles and money in career. Roles can be reversed. Feel free to check your moon, rising Venus, if you don't get enough messages in here. So let's look at your recent past in love with your person so you can see if this is your story or not. Be in a third party situation. And I have to make a decision. Uh oh. But, okay, let's see. See, if it's a third party, I feel like you're the one um, was another option. Introspection, thinking. Okay, for real. Like, you're trying to decide between two people. Maybe you're thinking about leaving your current situation for someone new. You got options and you're kind of passionate about someone you and stressed out about what to do. You're not sure if you should let go of your old person. You have some Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn energies. So that's going to have to be. But let's see. How does your current person, okay, not the second option, how do they feel towards you? Chariot in reverse. Six of Cups. Okay, so they feel it. They feel you kind of moving away. I'm kind of retracting your love a little bit with the Chariot and the Page here. I feel like mm, whatever you were giving in the past, you're giving a lot less of a lot less time a lot less of attention a lot less messages less communication um quick thinking drive to succeed ambition so you could be focused more on work maybe your person is aware of this third party you're considering um yeah i feel like you, you might just really be thinking about leaving your person for a new person okay so, yeah, it's like they can feel that your heart is not in it. Psh, we got death under here. Yeah, your person's kind of feeling you really pull away here. Okay, so let's see how the new person feels about you. And do it a little different. King of Cups in reverse. Ugh. Yeah. With the devil. Sorry. I don't know what these sounds were. But they do have. I don't know that they have feelings for you. I feel like this person is just like emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative. Um, I feel like they just want you to offer you that cup of love and then they're going to retract and put this shit to rest. Uh, maybe this person gets a kick out of people like leaving someone for them, fucking up other people's relationships. Um, yeah, I mean, they just want to fuck you and they're doing whatever they need to do to like get that. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad. That is bad. So, I would think, yeah, you should. Well, I don't know. I'd say you should stay with your person, but also maybe you shouldn't. Because if you're considering leaving them, then probably not the person for you. And definitely not the person for them, okay? Um... Sure, what to ask next? Okay, two of wands in reverse just fell to the floor. 
So decisions, decisions, picking a path, but mm, almost feel like both paths are probably not what's best. Maybe you need to just leave both situations alone and be on your own. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And then six of wands in reverse, the air fence, seven of cups fell onto the ground. So you might want to leave behind commitment and kind of explore your options. And yeah, if nobody can, like either of them can have like your full attention, then I feel like neither of them are for you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's do the outcome, then I'll do some advice and pull some oracles, and we'll move to my singles. Um, let me see what that says here. Welcome to the world of the emotionally balanced man. Yeah, this person is like emotionally fucked up. And we have the devil too, so uh -uh, might be a narcissist. So let's see the outcome here. Ooh, some fights, some arguments, some competition, the tower. Guys, Nine of Wands, survival is a matter of perseverance, vice versa. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like it's going to take you a minute to make a decision. There's going to be a lot of inner conflicts, maybe conflicts with your person, conflicts with the other person. Until shit just fucking blows up, bro. Okay? You need to calm down. They were young, healthy, wealthy, beautiful, free, and in love until tonight. So, yeah, I think shit is going to blow up more like towards the end of the month. Because we do have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is slow moving as fuck. Change is coming. High Priestess. Listen to your intuition, guys. I do feel like... Ugh. I feel like you should be with either because like, I don't know, I feel like if you're debating between two people, then neither is right. Especially since you're already in a relationship with one of them, so. Okay, advice for you, the star, yep, let it go, let it go, I can't sing. Ten of swords, hangman. The year of end. Oh my. The year of end, a symbol of tradition, conformity, power structures, religions, and formal doctrines, also known as the teacher or the pope. He sees through this material world and into your very soul. I think you need to listen to your soul. Year of end is like commitment card. And I feel like you're not really committed to either situation or, you know, you can't be committed to two situations. If you're entertaining another situation, you're not committed to the first. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you guys, some of you are not going to listen. And you're going to let go of your current situation, go for the other one, get betrayed, get backstabbed. And then just kind of end up with like nothing. Not because you made that decision, because the decision was made for you, you know? Um, but it's not even an outcome, but you know, I just have to say that. Advice, yeah, let it go. Let it go or you're gonna end up getting betrayed here. Just kind of take a break. Let it go. Take a break. Be single for a minute. Definitely let go of that third party. Like, that's for sure. If you want to commit to your person, if, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Because I'm thinking if I was the other person and my person would be, like, considering leaving me for someone else, I would rather they just fuck off, you know, than play games. And roles can be reversed. 
So if you do think it's your person who has a third party and is considering it, you might just want to go before before it pops off and just listen to your intuition. I don't know, man. The messages today are very fucking clear and direct, okay? Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Confessions. Pets. I don't know what the fuck pets have to do with it. But getting a new pet. Giving a current pet more love. Maybe some of you need to be single and get a pet. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're not operating from the right place. If you're, you know, considering leaving someone for someone else. So you might want to look into your heart chakra, might be blocked. Healing connection. <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags. So I feel like the person you're with is a healing connection. That other person is a red flag, but... They like, hate to say it, if you are considering leaving someone for someone else, like, they deserve better. Like, sorry, not sorry. I say it how it is. And just, like, if somebody's considering leaving you for someone else, you deserve better. It goes both ways, right? I don't like that shit. I really don't. So I'm going to leave it at that before I get moody. <laughs> and we're going to move to singles, okay? So my singles, um, you could be in a situation ship. Situation ship means you're single, guys. Hey, nobody's got you cuffed up and locked down. You're single. So let's see who is coming towards you, Aries, in October. My single Aries. It's um, some Aries energy. Could be another Aries. Okay, Ooh, so dramatic. And we got some Aquarius energy. And some people say the magician is Aries, but I feel like that's all the signs. Judgment. The okay, so dramatic. I feel like whoever's coming near you like lives close by either in your city or like literally really, really close within a few blocks. I don't know, rather message. But this is not someone you can trust. I feel like it would end as quick as it starts, you know, in deception, betrayal, or pretense, seven of swords. If you watch readings, if you read yourself, I don't have to tell you, way like the seven of swords is it's a thief you know doesn't always have to be a physical theft like it could be energy it could be your time it could be anything i feel like you're not prepared for this with that three of wands in reverse like you're not gonna see that coming um this person is really, really manipulative. But I feel like the magician in reverse is just someone who's very good at manipulation. Because it's like all four of the elements. So they can be very sexually manipulative, have all that charm and that passion, you know. And they can manipulate you with money and gifts, with like words and with emotions. It's like they got it all. They can manipulate you on all fronts. It's a trickster. Get reverse. It's it's just a trickster with that seven of swords. It's just like real fucking dramatic, bro. I don't know. I keep saying, bro. Is that I feel this could be a friend of yours. Some of you could be a roommate. Okay, the world can be a scary place. But all things have a natural cycle. As one thing grows in influence, another diminishes. The world contains all things. It cannot be reduced or explained, only rearranged. 
all are welcome and have a place in his completion in this completion is so i feel like this person is going to come in really strong a way you can tell if you're not sure who it is the look in their eyes look into like psychopaths eyes and just like manipulators um like the way narcissists and like psychopaths will look at you because like that looks like an iris looks like an eye to me um and yeah well there there you go psychopath eyes is pretty much that look okay it's just when you see too much white around the fucking eyes you know those widened eyes and then a study or something and like psychopaths do this thing a lot with their eyes so try to pay attention to that um i feel like this person's gonna make you feel like they complete you like you're their everything and it's just they they want some from you i do feel like it's very a spiritual like siphoning your energy your power your light like bro <laughs> bitches shiesty this reading's fucked up for aries i'm not gonna lie hopefully the money portion looking good but okay uh okay now how are you gonna know who this person is give me some more clues i don't know that was hard to shuffle right there king of swords very good with the words we got some more aquarius energy here absorbing tales of intellectual super authority so this could be someone who has some authority over you like example landlord manager um you know anybody any type of authority could be older than you um this person's really really smart like look at the size of this brain I feel like they talk a lot, again, with the eyes, the gaze. There's something about their eyes. At times, like, they might stare at you a lot and you get uncomfortable. Okay, then your last card fell down. Hold on. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Okay, I feel like you two already have a bond with the Two of Cups. Um, this person could come across as very empathetic. Again, with the queen and the king, I feel like this person is older than you. Strength. So we got Leo, Cancer, Cancer. We got strong Cancer and strong um, Aquarius coming through. Some more Cancer, Gemini. Um, a contest between the most powerful, most terrifying creature alive and a lion. This person is just kind of, yeah, very powerful and very terrifying, I guess. Sorry, so traumatic. Um, it's going to have to, like, ignore him and not take the offer, not take the cup. You're going to have to choose wisely. It's someone you've known forever. I do really get this vibe. Like, you've known this person for years. And this person's very jealous of you. And they kind of collect people. But, like, they collect people that they, they screw over or that they get power over or that they manipulate. I do feel like you guys have a bond. Whether you guys have been friends for a really long time, family friend, yeah like this person's really good with their words with their emotions and being manipulative um i don't know i don't know if you know who it is okay advice oh no i don't know what to say it's getting fucked up both of them were fucked up Okay, I'm this person's single. I wasn't sure with the king or queen. So, um, they're single, but like your advice is to stay single. Invest in yourself, in your financial independence. Stay single. 
kind of walk away from every situation like romantically for now like for October and just focus on yourself and your money so hopefully the money portion is looking really really good um yeah see but that's just a theft like it's not the time for dating death six of swords moving the calming water transition rite of passage unburdening don't burden yourself with a relationship right now um just don't entertain it escape the whole damn fucking situation and focus on your mental health as well and just uncovering the truth with the moon in reverse here i think that's where you need to put your focus at seven of pentacles but your focus in the right place things are going to be all right but if you let that person in and you get kind of swayed by their fucking words and manipulation like it's not looking really good i don't know let's see some oracles actually before i do your readings are stressing me out sorry but you know i say it how it is i can't fucking lie i can't make shit up to like make people happy whole inner growth Okay, so yeah, you need to focus on your inner growth and like self-love. I feel like you do have love for this person. Again, with the friends, I feel like you've been friends with them for a long time. And this person knows how to influence you, how to influence your choices. Um, see, single, not in a relationship. I feel like you have to stay single. Be careful, stay on your ground. Like if you feel like someone's trying to manipulate you or trying to, you know, coerce any type of decision you're trying to making, trying to influence you in any way, that could definitely be a clue here. Pregnancy, could be pregnant. Maybe this person wants to like baby trap you, get you pregnant, leave. Maybe that's like their thing. They get people pregnant or bounce. It's someone else. Be someone else involved in that situation not just one person the chase this person does get off on the chase lonely confused so if you've been feeling lonely and confused you got to focus on your self-work or self-work on work and self-love focus on yourself focus on your inner peace I don't think it's the right time to be entering a relationship. Definitely not with this person. Like, there's no rush. People's masks tend to slip up after a while. That's why, you know, personally, I take my time with people and just even friends, relationships. I need to know people for a while before, you know, even calling someone my friend even is I need to watch the way they move, the kind of person they are. I don't want just anybody in my life, right? So I feel like that's what you need to do a bit more of, Aries. Just take more time. You know, it takes two, three months. If it's for real, it's still gonna be there in two, three months. If, you know, and some people can keep up a facade for pretty long, but most people, they'll either give up or their true colors are gonna show okay all right leave a like leave a dislike if you're really pissed about these readings but honestly if you didn't feel like it, it was your reading and it didn't resonate with you don't force it it's not meant for you They're like low-key fucking warnings like checking people check yourself or you wreck yourself type of energy okay okay money money career for aries in october a wisdom is shedding the social status so your social status can go up your money can go up but there's some shit you have to leave behind it's time to uh, learn wisdom comes from experience um, insight into the nature of physical objects gives you foresight. Use your best judgment. 
shedding, reducing losses, elimination, and completing a new met metamorphosis. Time to set higher goals. I really feel like this is the time for you to focus more on yourself. If you're in a happy relationship, then like, like cool, be in your happy relationship. But if you feel like either or reading really applied to you and resonated for you, and you just felt it in your soul that, you know, it was meant for you, then this is for you. Like you really need to focus on yourself. You will reach the height of fame and society. Don't get arrogant. Stay humble. Bitch, be humble type of shit. But it, it's that time. That's what you should be focusing on. You should be shedding whatever doesn't serve you. Um, and just learn from the past. Learn from everything you've been through. And focus on financial independence, growing your money, taking your career in the direction you want, switching careers if that's what you want. Um, deadlines, make sure that you got a schedule going, that you reach your deadlines. And also with social status here, if some of you were thinking about maybe doing influencer stuff, um, starting a YouTube, doing anything that is like online, um, October would be a really, really good time to start. Okay, and you got training here at the bottom. Some of you might require some training to reach those goals, gain some more wisdom, and maybe also shed some bad habits that won't serve you in your pursuits. And you got growth at the bottom, okay? There's a lot of growth in this area. It just may not be a good love for a, a good love, a good month for love, but it's a really good month for work and money. Again, y'all, if it doesn't apply to you, the love stuff, your shit was it's fucked up. So, but trust that your universe has a better plan than you do. Um, protecting the planet, herbal, or working with nature in some way. So if there's anything you wanted to do, you know, this is a vibe here to the crown chakra. You might want to really focus on your crown chakra as well. Um, you know, you can put these binaural beats um, when you go to sleep to kind of help you unblock um, block chakras. So like your heart and your crown. That's what I got in this reading. If you watch me, you know that doesn't really come up that often. Um... I don't really bring that up that often. So if I do, I feel like, yeah, it's got some weight on it. So, yeah, if you were thinking about doing something with, like, cooking, herbs, uh, something that's really nature-driven, anything, right? And there's a lot of things you could be doing outside that have to do with nature. Maybe you love birds and you want to do, like, videos about each bird, fun facts, whatever the fuck, right? do it um october is really the month for that for you um spend time with nature to be healed soothed and regroup so try to spend some more time outside get some fresh air some time by yourself meditate outside um while it's still nice out depending where you live in the world i'm in canada so we have some nice days left, but it's going to get cold sooner than later. So it's a good time to still enjoy outside. Your hard work will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. Construction, maintenance, painting, or any kind of labor work. Um, don't be afraid of hard work. What lasts won't come easy. So, yeah, it's just basically time for you to work. It's a really good month to start new projects. Make sure you stick to a schedule. If you're going to start something with the deadlines, I feel like you need to set yourself some deadlines. And if you're going to be working for yourself, you got to be the boss and the employee and the manager. <laughs> um, okay, guys. Well, I feel like a domini part looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, maybe it's going to be a tougher month for love, but that's okay. You can't have it all, all the time. So leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. If you're not already, hit the bell so you can see future videos. And hopefully I see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.